I traveled through La Perla and San Juan, Puerto Rico with my wife, Emily, and our friends, Chris and Larry Lynn, while heading to a sailing trip in the British Virgin Islands. We are just starting this travel log channel on YouTube, and we need your help to get it off the ground. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel to help us bring more of our adventures to you. La Perla is a small, somewhat forgotten neighborhood in Old San Juan. Old San Juan stands within tall walls that used to defend the city. La Perla was built on some low ground outside of those walls. There, please. You literally have to travel through passages built into the walls to enter or exit the community. The land was originally developed as a location for a slaughterhouse and for the housing of slaves, both of which were required by law to be away from the city center. We unwittingly rented an Airbnb in the neighborhood, not having a solid understanding of where we were staying. We arrived at night and we were dropped off in the general area of our accommodations. After controlling our Uber driver into entering the neighborhood, which he told us was off limits for him and other transportation services. He advised us that police and emergency services would not enter the neighborhood and we should not take pictures or video because three tourists had been stabbed a few weeks earlier for taking pictures. Before we reached our drop-off point, we were approached by a drug dealer trying to sell us various forms of pills through the car window. We did not record that exchange for obvious reasons and especially after our driver's warning. We did sneak in a little video at night from our long walk down a narrow path to get to our rented apartment and also from the rooftop of our apartment and from the restaurant next door to our apartment. However, we did most of our camera work in the early hours of the morning, as most of the residents were sleeping. In the daylight, La Perla is a fascinating blend of dilapidation and plight mixed with amazingly beautiful scenes of nature and art. The views of the El Moro Castle, the adjacent cemetery, and of the oceanfront and sunrise were one of the highlights of our trip. The graffiti artwork on many of the buildings was amazing, and there were some incredibly talented artists living in the community. While we did feel a little uncomfortable with our accommodations, and we will not likely stay there again, we were grateful to get to see the amazing beauty of a much less visited part of Old San Juan. Many people will tell you not to visit La Perla at all. It is, no doubt, a relatively dangerous place to be. However, we felt quite safe walking around in the daylight, and we even feel you can safely visit some of the more prominent restaurants in the neighborhood at night without taking too much risk. Use your judgment on deciding where to go. If you keep to yourself and mind your own business, it seems you can move in and out to your destination without too much trouble. We are going to explore more destinations and travel to them by sailboat. Please check back with us for reviews on more fascinating places to visit. And if you would like to follow our journey and learn about traveling the world by boat, check out some of our other playlists about liveaboard cruising.